But you guys will get a kick out of this. I don't know. I don't know if Lemmy will like this or not. <laughs> okay, so we've got Motorhead texting, texting us back and forth. See Lemmy. Hello, Lemmy. So Lemmy has a guy trying to sell him a burst. A 59 Les Paul Standard for $15,000. So texting Lemmy back and forth. Lemmy, it sounds too good to be true. Uh, if, if it is indeed the real thing, then grab it because it's worth $150,000 or whatever, okay? Uh, so it's like, good luck, man. Go have it checked out. So the latest text I got from Lemmy is, turns out it's a reissue. Should have known it was too good to be true. Happy effing bleeping days. <laughs> oh, don't screw Lenny Kilmeister over, man, with the whole motorhead crew. Get you! So we're trying to play catch up a little bit on making the store look appealing and organized. But at the rate we get stuff through the through here to uh, bring into our inventory, we can't keep up with it. But here's one little item that we recently got. This is a general electric, electric uh, phonograph with the Rolling Stones out of our heads, original vinyl on here, uh, and it's got tubes in it. Now here's how this high-tech stuff works. You simply set it at 33 RPMs, hit that button, and watch what happens. Volume and tone. So we crank the volume all the way, of course. Let the tube warm up. Louder. Here it comes. I can't get no. <laughs> So there you go. It's wonderful. The old record player. And look, here comes more. No! Stay away! <laughs> Isn't that cool? I like it. How you doing, man? Good, man. So, the other night, I'm leaving and you're going... Hey, Eric? And I'm going, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Oh. You know what? Um, I know you ended we, up. We got it all figured out. Oh, well, kind of. That um, he put a pickup in the ukulele, and um, it's it's really live sounding. So I'm trying to kind of soften it up a little bit somehow. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I'll kind of guarantee you that's going to sit around for a while. We can try to place it in yeah. the other and it's going to make sense to either one of us. Yeah. Yeah. But then, you know, those acoustic amps don't sit around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should document. What's that? Can I get that? Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know. I'm going to document this transaction here. Oh, yeah. I'll keep name tag. Yeah. Visa? Yeah. If you want to do the. If you want to do, the, uh, take care of the fret wear, so that the fret level and uh, setup is included in that, and it's 150. So for every, so everything you're looking at 225. So 550 new, so 400. And if that's what you're guitar, you do all that. I do it eventually, um, just because. Yeah, just because. The, the, the more worn it gets, I mean, you're, you're gonna have. I mean, the frets are like tires. You're, you're gonna have to do something about it eventually. Mm -hmm. It's just, do, do you want to? Um, how many more miles do I have? Yeah, right. How many more miles? Yeah, right, right. And you can, if, if I do a fret level, it's just kind of, uh, you know, we're just resurfacing your existing frets, uh, so so that they, they don't have these divots. And, mm -hmm. You know, a lot cheaper than. It's, it's, I, I down the road, if you if it gets worn down to the point that there's not enough material left to resurface, mm -hmm. then we have to do a, a fret. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Alright, well, I'd like to have it fixed up then. I want to go ahead and do all that. Uh, let me get a uh, uh, clean slate. Think about the awkward moment there, just with a lot of people are here. Yeah. It's like, who's with who and what? You know, there's, there's a guy over there, a guy with a $6,000 guitar there, and a guy wandering out the door, like, oh. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, no worries. I totally, I totally get it. Yeah, yeah, I don't I, think I've I ever know, seen so many people in here before. Oh, there's, it gets crazy right now. Yeah. I just want to make sure people are like, we might take a walk for a few minutes and come back and play some more. So yeah, we're definitely yeah, uh, definitely gonna pull the trigger on something here soon. So cool. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. All right. What's your name? I'm Luke. Luke. Yeah. I've met you before. I yeah. Know. yeah. Sorry. Sorry. You really meet a lot of people. I do. And it's just attaching names and, and who they're with. I know you guys are all part of Marshall, right? Yeah. yeah. That's right. You guys. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Go chill. Go, go back. Okay. It's the process. Thanks, guys. guys. Okay, Ken, this is Charlie, our favorite UPS guy. Hey, say hi, Charlie. Howdy. <laughs> Put him on the spot. This all has to be documented, you know, in case they're damaged. We'll okay. Go back and say, we had Charlie here delivering <laughs> things. You know, so what are you going to do? Uh, Boone, let's get that guitar out today. Okay. It's need, all a print, out. need a print of label, right? Okay. Okay. And then you're going to That's what I was going to ask. I'm going to see if I can pick you guys up early today. I'm taking off it. Uh, if we can print a label out really quick here. Trav, get an address. You got an address? Hello. Charlie, I can print this up. Give me a couple minutes. Oh, well, we gotta find the address here first. Yeah, I'll be in the neighborhood for a few minutes, so. Okay. Opening the presents. Longest unpacking ever. Oh, not bad. 30, 35 minutes. Hey, Trav, after you're done with that. I'm 12. Dr. Z, we just started carrying the M12. They're amazing, 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 amazing. Um, this is the head version. So front, we just got high and low, volume, bass, treble. So this is a 12 watt amp. It's got two EL84s, EF86, a 12AX7, and a 5Y3 rectifier. Now the cool thing is, is Dr. Z lowered the plate voltage on the EL84s. So what you get is a 12 watt amp, but with high headroom, it's amazing. It sounds so good. And the EF86 gives it kind of this bloom quality. And it just sounds amazing. Um, the combos come stock with a green back, and then you can upgrade it with a blue, and they're just, they're killer. It sounds like a cranked box, only at 12 watts. So come to Emerald City Guitars and try them out. They, they're awesome, so. Yeah. Craft time. Yes, sir. Okay, great. One. So you guys get Hello Kitty toy. Two. Uh, and one drum. Three. <laughs> one or five. <laughs> one or five, yeah. Yeah, let's go with one. Right. It has cheese in there. I just wanted to have fun. You will have fun with that. You just like no. that'll be your scratch paper. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. 
Trust there's, me. There's a standard. It took me a while to get the signs down. <laughs> you gotta get the big old... Like, oh yeah. This is yeah, but that's the right size. Yeah. See, I started in the middle. JJ has got it down. I screw up that bad, we'll go ahead and take something else and outline it or something. Even that, if you know what I'm Gibson. Look, look, come on, man. What's, what's the color technically called on that? Uh, red sparkle? Red sparkle? I don't know. Hey, T-Dog. Give me some more info on that master belt, Telly. The red sparkle one. T-Dog's been in his little porcelain office doing some paperwork. <laughs> White lightning. Doing some Tommy Gun. Save you 20 bucks, owe you 139 more. Cool. Plus tax, right? Yep. I'd be about 175, 180, yeah. something like that, right? Yep. I'm bring you 20 a week until it's paid for. Sweet. If I drop the ball, you keep the money. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Where are you going? Uh, Yeah, this one's turning out good. I just needed you to actually write like the top part. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah. Nice little guitar. It's gonna have a hard road with me. It ain't gonna look like this for long, but it's gonna. Cool. It'll become a high mileage. Oh yeah. High miler. I've had hundreds of guitars over the years, but this one I'm planning on keeping, man. Best guitar I ever had was a Jackson Dinky PS4 Reverse, man. That sucker was a road warrior. <laughs> He's gonna put forty dollars down. I got twenty right now. Okay, twenty dollars down on the Oscar Schmidt red translucent. So like one hundred fifty bucks, right? One fifty nine. Yeah, that's right. the deal on it. Cool. Okay. No, I think it this I think this just got probably wants to get the least bring you to the box until it's paid for. Is that fair? No one's on there. Push that button then. Is that fair, sir? Hang on a second. If I screw up, you keep the money. That's just, the deal. Just, just don't screw up, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, I don't like yeah. giving my money away. I work yeah. hard for it. Yeah, no, we'll take but care. But I'll bring you like 20 bucks a week or so. 20 a week, okay, we'll do it, man. I'll bring you what I can. Even if it's five bucks, I'll bring you something to keep that where you don't steal my money. What, why, don't. why don't we do this, man? Why don't you, uh, just, well, let's do a minimum of 20, because if starting like five, 10, just like too much paperwork, you know? I understand. I'll yeah. do the best I can. You'll do great, man. I will work with you. you. Man. I want you to have it, man. I want you to play. You sound good. I'm, I'm looking for a lifetime guitar tech in a lifetime guitar store. Show me. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm starting from Skid Row from scratch. Well, we've showed everybody from uh, Pinky LaBeef to Joe Walsh, so 100,000 customers can't be wrong. Huh? So, All right, right brother. <laughs> See, that's how it's done, man. That's how oh, it's yeah. done. All the other salesmen need to take a lesson from the master. My name's Parson. I'm proud to be here. <laughs> that that M12 is amazing. I love. I want one of those amps. No, Brian was just playing through the M12. Well, he just now was playing through the TBX AC30. I think he was just sitting there playing through that M12. Wasn't he? he was earlier. Yeah, just now. Right? No, just now was the AC30. Really? I was in there. Yeah. Uh, just before that, the AC30. But just now, that right? The AC30. Just now, the AC30. That sounds awesome. Yeah, those amps were rocking. Is that, where, where is it? TBX, oh, AC30, right. yeah, yeah. They're, they were great. Is that the last? Would you guys be able to do this guy and the quad set of the the JJ's out the door for fifteen hundred? The quad, which the matched quad for fifty dollars, the JJ tubes. What are the L84s? Yeah. Uh, it's new, man. How much? Out the door for fifteen. 
Yes. Yes. I don't know where we're at. Yeah. Are, are we going to do the PR? Yeah, it's not happening. So I just bill them? Yeah, so I emailed the guy in finance. Really dirty and really jangly with his Alright guys, thanks for your time. Okay. Did you get the tubes? Yeah, they are. Okay. Great, thanks so much. Cool. See you later. Yeah. Here we have an amazing guitar. We just got this in the shop. Um, we get a lot of awesome guitars in general, of course, and a lot of Telecasters. Um, this one in particular is very unique. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's called the Rosewood Telecaster. And it's a 1969, the um, first year that they hit the production line. Um, a little history about him. Um, master builder, he's a German, uh, Roger, I think, Ros Meisel. Hope I'm not butchering that last name. Um, but he was originally hired by Leo from Rickenbacker in 1962. Um, and he designed not only this one, but the thin line as well. Uh, and what makes this guitar also unique is one of the very first prototypes in 1968 was built for Elvis Presley. And Fender, um, what we know of, presented it to him, uh, probably in Nashville, and he actually didn't care for it because Elvis was a Martin and Gibson guy. And so he, in a probably graceful way, rejected it. Um, his guitar was said to be 13 pounds, which is extremely heavy for a telly. Um, this guitar, is a nice weight. Um, it's much lighter than the original prototypes were. This one weighs in at eight pounds, two ounces. So this one is part of the mass production line. They only made 300, said to be 300 in 1969, um, 500 between 69 and 72. So not very many were made at all. It was one of Fender's most expensive guitars in the day. In 69, it retailed for $375, which was quite a bit. So this one is in stunning condition. Um, as you can see, it's, it's, it's immaculate. Uh, serial number 268964. It has original hang tags signed, uh, original strap, the case is cherry. Um, this is one of the early chambered models. As you can see, this pinstripe here along the side is actually a really thin piece of maple sandwiched in between the top and back rosewood body. Um, another notable guitar is George Harrison's that most people do know about. Um, that was the official first prototype that was released before these hit the production line in 69 and the famous Let It Be movie. Um, it was presented as a gift to George Harrison and his uh, was solid as well um, and his was like Ellis's as well in that it, it wasn't chambered like these ones are, so it was significantly heavier. And um, I believe the rosewood board had a top fingerboard piece, so it was separate. So the production lines have a one piece like this one. Um, but this guitar is just amazing. It plays amazing, it sounds amazing, it feels amazing, it has like a very piano-like sustain to it and just a presence that just has to be played. It's just spectacular. So, 69, original, all stock, Rosewood Telecaster. Cool. Awesome. The days have been few, so long is not true. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's, I Sweet just practice to that. And create different, the love. Different sounds I make. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you. All right, you bet. Nice to meet you. Awesome. All right. This guy's a left-handed guitar player too, man. I know. Well, I've, I've seen a lot of bands. Loverboy, Tom uh, Hart, Puppet Show. <laughs> That's me. Can we do that guitar again? Can we do that guitar? Yeah, see you tomorrow, bud. See y'all. I'll see you tonight. Yeah, I'll be done. That's cool. Adios, amigos. Can I get the spark note to the summary? Um, Protect oh, my, my kingdom. I'll Scott? Hand out, I'll Steve. Hand out, I'll Steve hand out or Scott? Flyers. Scott. Scotty. Nice to meet you. I'll hand out flyers for that guitar. You will? Yeah. Awesome, I love you. All the way to the <laughs> yeah, I love you too, man. Make some money, right? All right, bro.